BSF recovery team here with another quick tech tip. Today's tip involves a legendary high lift jack, much like this very well used one here. Probably one of the most useful tools you could have off road. Also one of the most dangerous. Part of the reason they end up being dangerous is when they don't function properly. One of the biggest causes of them not functioning properly is because Quite often they're mounted on the exterior of a vehicle and exposed to the elements. Rain, dirt, dust, mud. So it's a good idea to keep them well lubricated. But using the proper lubrication is key. When you use a penetrating oil like this, that has a tendency to collect dirt and dust. And then even though it's lubricated, it still has a tendency to not function properly. I much prefer to use a drying type lubricant like this silicone here or this dry lubricant here. That way it doesn't collect dust, dirt, sand and the mechanism stays functioning much better. One of the other problems with using this jack is, uh, well how can we say this? when it gets used by people that don't exactly know how it functions properly. Let me explain. The high lift jack, or any one similar to this, is considered a climbing jack. What that means is, is there's two pins here that climb up a series of holes on the body of the jack. The pins are operated by a couple of ramps, and some springs in the fact that the tip of the pins are tapered. Let me show you. First of all, when you want the jack to go up, this lever here is in the up position and that holds a couple of ramps above the pins here and here in the up position. When it's like that, it allows the pin with their tapered tips to climb up the body of the jack. When you want to go back down, make sure that the pins are fully engaged. Release this lever back into the down position. That allows these ramps to come down. Now they will act upon the roll pins that are crossways in the climbing pins and work against the springs that pop the climbing pins in and out to allow the jack to go down. Of course in order for this to function properly there has to be weight or pressure on the tongue of the jack. Now there's one last feature that this jack has and that's the one that gets most people is that when this handle is all the way up and this lever is released and these ramps come down against the roll pins that are crossways in the climbing pins it will allow these ramps to come all the way down and the ramps can push the climbing pins both out at the same time to allow the tongue and mechanism of the jack to slide free up and down the shaft. If you keep your jack well lubricated and you understand how it works, it can be a very, very useful tool. And if you happen to have one that's worn out or damaged from, how should we say, misuse, High Lift does sell complete rebuild kits for the working mechanism of the jack. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Stay safe and maybe we'll see you out there in the woods.